were part of buying our experiments, it definitely is not a very thorough experiment because uh, this everything has been developed at least in our case over a long period of uh, heat and trials. But uh, even then, uh, whatever we are optimized those in a, in a very simplified way so that you can understand and so that you have a feeling that this type of study is not a very, important, very difficult study. And for that, um, especially my target is only the younger guys who were a little bit might be now displaced as because in the normal university and school and college classes are not going on. So to them to increase some inclusiveness we are we are targeting in that group of people mainly in our video. So here I will show you how we start from a catalyst, then how we active catalyst then how make it how we could this active catalyst of our structures why do i uh, how do i do the coatings how do i uh, man, man, optimize the uh, the parameters of a coating material the viscosity is a very important thing then the dipping rate is also another important thing then uh, dwell time is another important thing then then the then the pre uh, uh, post coating uh, heat treatment of the material to develop certain active oxide centers which are which will be active as a catalyst uh, and then those uh, again will be how we will react to attack toxic gases with the toxic gas we we do as what we get in the market I want to say I want to we have a reaction of a toxic glass in a very diverse concentration, say around 150 ppb or 150 ppm in some sense. So now I definitely get in market always 150 ppm gas. So I have to give a carrier gas, I have to dilute it in the process. How do I dilute? How do I maintain two different flow meters, maintain two different flow rates, and then mix them? And then how we re what is the basically a reactor with the middle part is, but it's not a normal normal part is in the uh, tubular part is. And how do we collect the gas? What is uh, post uh, treatment gases? How the gases are collected? We can collect it in certain uh, materials we call um, Tedler bags, the very special bag we purchased from America, or we can have even a football bladder, we can even collect it. Then can have some sort of gas collection bottles made of glass or tampon these are available nowadays <coughs> then how do we bring it and then bring it how do we introduce it i can have online the gas photography also but generally we do not do those experiments because they are toxic gases in a laboratory for gas photography so we immediately collect it and in five to ten minutes time we keep our gas photograph ready with it we draw and immediately we uh, introduce it to the gas chromatograph and analyze it. Maybe it may be through our gas sampling valves that we have in the gas chromatograph or it may be through injection ports that we have in a gas chromatograph in the top. This, generally this type of gas chromatographs we have few different types of re uh, detectors either basically for inorganic gases thermal conductivity detector is always necessary. But here, there we go, cannot go below 50 ppm. So we, for therefore, we need electron capture detector ECD, or if it is a um, combustible gas, then we need flame ionization detector, FID pump gases like methane, and so gases like sulfur dioxide, we need FPD flame photometric detector. Then for small amount of carbon monoxide like gases. We need another reactor called the mechanical catalytic reactor which uh, converts the carbon monoxide uh, to carbon methane and uh, that we detect in the we need to have, uh, our flame ionization detector and then um, that is finally represented in a uh, carbon monoxide equivalence. Uh, so that's a <coughs> different sets of and detects the detector systems are generally needed but the gas chromatograph is a very essential item apart from that you can have one um, 
gas ire also uh, calibrated gas ire with a long part length generally when you do in a very low concentration you will have a, you must have a very long part gas part length part, uh, part length gas uh, for gas inorganic gas analysis uh, or even easier the mass spectrographic uh, ms machine also so there are a lot of devices so therefore uh, you depending upon your availability but gas chromatography is a very uh, common system that we uh, convenient and uh, you need certain calibration systems calibration standards if you have to at your disposal and the lot along that you can have it okay. it's okay
Thank you.